to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Never forget to give God thanks for any and every great thing he does in your life learn it no matter how little no matter how great do you know the reason why some people see the hand of God and then it would take almost forever because we are not grateful are we together we have this mindset as if God owes us everything. There is nothing I have today that God owes me. It's an act of his mercy. It's an act of his grace. In one minute, I want everyone, regardless of the overflows, those following us across the nations of the earth, I just want you to count your blessings. Leave whatever challenge you came with and say, Lord, thank you. I brought a sick child, but I thank you that I have a child. Lord, I thank you. Thank you for this great house you have so honored. Thank you for our lives. Look what you've done with us. Thank you, Jesus. Miracles, testimonies, the mighty acts of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for changing our lives. Thank you for the power of your word. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for the abundance of grace. The gift of righteousness. Wherewith you have caused us to reign in this territory. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, let me teach you something. You can earn a living being grateful. You can literally earn a living being grateful. Grateful to men, grateful to God. You never hear me open my mouth and complain. Never. I've lost the ability to complain. Not, not over God. He's too faithful. If he never blesses me, I still owe him my life. You must get to a point, this grumbling, this complaint is the spirit of the devil working in people. We forget his benefits and we focus on the little things that we think he has not done. In one minute, don't be tired though, mention it. Mention it. Lord, you brought me here safely, I'm grateful. saved I'm a child of God I have your life within me I don't take it for granted hallelujah hallelujah I welcome you tonight to our main miracle service in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah let's appreciate all those following us online from over hallelujah regardless of what nation the Lord bless you the Lord honor you over 45 nations of the world we bless you we honor you the Lord will do you good in Jesus name please greet one another and be seated hallelujah it's good to be back home I'm happy to be back. 
the only person who should be angry at my coming is the devil <laughs> hallelujah amen I want us to bless God for Pastor Jimmy. Oh my God. I think last week was amazing. Bless you, sir. We honor you. We bless you. Is this how you honor people here? Come on now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bless you, sir. Thank you so much. You and your lovely wife. Tonight, we're going to be very, very fast. I spotted Pastor Paul. Pastor Paul, God bless you. Very, very old, great friend, man of God. The Lord bless you. Happy to see you, sir. While I was praying, preparing for this meeting, the Lord referred me back to um, a thought that he began to put in my spirit at the first miracle service, January miracle service. And the Lord asked that I repeat some of the things that he shared with me to build our faith and to prepare our hearts and um, so that's just what I'm going to do briefly I want us to pay attention when the word of God comes I've taught us that the word of God does many things um, aside from the creative power of the word the word of God has the key to committing God in your life God is not committed to any life until the word of God commits him. So if the basis of your action is not the word of God, it will look spiritual, you will dissipate a lot of energy, but it will produce little or no result. I look around and I see several people coming from only God knows how long, and there are mothers, fathers, different people, maybe very great and influential people, scattered across we thank god because he has made this place a place of solution a place of supernatural miracles and you will never be disappointed tonight in the name of jesus christ hallelujah proverbs chapter 13 let's start from there tonight proverbs 13 verse 15 just to share a few things to prepare our hearts and then we'll pray proverbs chapter 13 I want to quickly just run us through a few and please let me have our attention especially for those of us in the overflows outside a few reasons why many people especially believers experience perpetual defeat perpetual failure perpetual triumph of darkness over their lives in spite of their sincerity in spite of their godliness supposedly in spite of their passion and commitment for god what exactly is responsible for perpetual seasons of delay hardship lack of breakthrough because i understand that in a meeting like this is a miracle service not just a healing service there are people here who may not be sick but there are situations that require only the ability of God. So I want you to listen very carefully. Proverbs 13 verse 15. I thought we have it projected. I like us to read together. One to read. Good understanding. Uh-huh. But the way of transgressors is hard. The B part again please but the way you see the word transgressor there does not just mean a sinner it means a violator a violator of a principle the bible did not say the way of transgressors is impossible he said it is hard herein lies the mystery of hardship the mystery of perpetual pain pain that makes the bible look like a lie Pain that makes the testimony of Jesus look like a lie. We've been taught again and again that it is never all up to God and it is never all up to men. When it has to do with establishing realities in this kingdom, there is always a partnership, a responsibility as defined by God and a responsibility that represents the trust and the commitment of men. The Bible says that the way 
of violators whether through ignorance or through the hardness of heart violators of God's principles the Bible says their way is hard the Lord has declared for us as a people as a family of faith that this is our year of triumph and um, we must explore once again the keys that are responsible for speed joy perpetual victory the Bible says now thanks be to God who causes us always not sometimes always to triumph a great man of God said challenges are not unusual but when you are defeated by them then it becomes unusual are we together now number one the first reason that I put down here that is responsible for the pain the tragedies the failure the defeat of many people families territories is the conscious exclusion of Jesus in their lives and affairs the conscious exclusion where you exclude the Lord Jesus his purposes everything that has to do with God the conscious exclusion of Jesus Christ in their lives and affairs John 15 from verse 4 to 5 John 15 from verse 4 to 5 Jesus said something he said um, please give it to us very quickly John chapter 15 from verse 4 to 5 he says abide in me read it people of God want to read abide in me and I in you uh -huh. it says as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except hold on the branch as powerful as the branch is does not sustain capacity to bear fruit in itself except it abided in the vine then he says no more in that similitude no more can ye except you abide in me verse 5 it says I am the vine no confusion you are not the vine I am the vine ye are the branches then he says he that abided in me and I in him the same bringeth forth much fruit and here is the mystery for without me outside of me apart from me ignoring me claiming I am not important he says ye can do nothing he didn't say ye can do little things outside of me ye can do are we together now the first reason believe me brothers and sisters behind the untold hardship of people is their conscious exclusion of Jesus Christ his purposes and his ways dr. anointed God bless you good to see you thank you so much we honor you thank you hallelujah are we together now Jesus Christ you know we live in a society that um, I'm not against intellectual development we have series and series upon um, on those thoughts I'm not against wisdom education strategies and all of that but you see there is this fallacy that our generation has is called the over dependence over dependence on intellectualism over dependence on the wisdom of men the strategy of men we claim as though being educated is a substitute to acknowledge and acknowledging and working with Jesus Christ and the Bible says for without me ye can do nothing over dependence on our abilities I can pay the rent I'm, I'm educated I'm not I'm not daft I can do this I can do that and every time you claim to be able to live without Christ and what is civilization we have represented Jesus to be a nuisance to civilization every time you mention him every time you say anything people feel look you are falling our hands this is an intellectual gathering this is a gathering of smart people this is a gathering of business minds this is a gathering of people who know what they are doing they are don't don't spiritualize don't bring us we are not in church you hear them Jesus said for without me 
regardless of the platform you ignore me and ignore what I represent in your life he says you can do nothing are we together over dependence on everything oh I think I, I know so so and so in the senate I know so 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 and so in the national assembly I am connected to the presidency I am this and that the over dependence on our abilities our human strength and then of course pride we are still talking on point one self-glorification what is pride pride is the refusal to acknowledge God and his might and his ability as being the reason for your result the ashamedness to acknowledge Christ the ashamedness you know we live in a time and a generation where we as humans we love the uploads of men and there's nothing wrong with that except for the fact that sometimes we are so carried away it embarrasses us to ever let men know that Jesus is the doer of this so we love it being said it was Joshua Selman he spoke a word and someone got 320 305 he spoke a word and a dead person came back to life we love those kinds of things it is in our human nature to want praise so much to the extent that if it means kicking God out as a nuisance to our space of relevance we will gladly do it the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 to 7 this is what it says trust in the Lord listen with all not some your heart it says and to lean not on your own understanding then it says in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path right the next verse says be not wise in your own understanding he says fear the Lord and turn away from evil pride this is a big mistake that we make as preachers it's a big mistake that we make as leaders business people parents this is my child i train this child by my wisdom you can't embarrass me ah. listen let me tell you something master the art of letting men see god in your life i show you a secret to unstoppable lifting and i the bible says if i be lifted up from the earth i will draw men i will draw men when your heart is stayed on letting men see Christ at work in you, then John 17 becomes your testimony. It says the hour has come. Glorify your son to the end that your son may bring glory to you. It does not cause God anything to lift men. But the issue here is our pride. Apostle Joshua Selman. See? And all those things kill us and destroy our lives. Forever in my life and in this ministry, he remains a doer. We honor him unashamedly. It is the foolishness that has brought us thus far. The foolishness of acknowledging him all the time. You know, every time I sit and I hear the testimonies, sometimes you just see me keep quiet and um, I can see people looking at me putting their hands on their heads and I'm saying you are looking at the wrong person the only reason why I'm the only one you can see is because you cannot see him and I've taught you like a faithful bride when when come wife when I take good care of this woman and you clap for her a wise woman will point back to her husband is that true? Yeah. Remember, wives submit. Right? So, when the invisible husband in partnership with him, you are producing supernatural results. But the world cannot see him. So, it is you they see as a wife. And then they thank you. And then a wise wife will transfer it back. Because the only reason why Vashti was queen was because she married the king. When she forgot 
and decided to carve out a niche for herself she was sent out and a villager called Hadassah a type of the church came in her innocence and instantly became queen and forever she acknowledged him she lived to serve the king in that palace and she served the victory of the nation of Israel acknowledgement thank you my dear. several people find it a, an embarrassment to say Lord you are the doer sometimes we say it religiously but when they look at you they know you don't mean it what you just mean is okay God so you, it doesn't look like I'm fighting you I acknowledge him take him out of my life I'm not ashamed it's, it's a state I have maintained for a very long time hallelujah you are my strength when I am weak you are the treasure that I seek you are my all Seeking you as a precious joy Not to give up, I'll be a friend You are my own Hallelujah Pride Pride Number two, quickly The second reason why people do not experience The outstretched arm of God in their lives is ignorance and disobedience to God's principles please listen very carefully ignorance and disobedience to God's principles the systems of the kingdom the kingdom of God and the dealings of God with man is broken into systems listen carefully the system of God's dealing with man represents his modus operandi as far as certain outcomes are desired are we together now it is part of the assignment of every leader in partnership every pastor businessman career person every believer in partnership with the Holy Spirit to explore the systems of God and understand the keys that he has apportioned to be responsible for certain outcomes in our lives please listen not every key opens every door that you are holding keys does not mean the door you want will open no we have been given the keys of the kingdom and we must know the systems that are responsible please pay attention to what i'm telling you there is a system in the dealing of god with men that is responsible for longevity there is a system that is responsible for the impartation of the life and the power of God in a man. There is a system that is responsible for wealth and prosperity. There is a system that is responsible for favor. There is a system that is responsible for defense. That when men and the powers of darkness rise against a man, there is a system a man can operate with God that can build a shield of resistance mysteriously you walk out of things that should have killed you as though the devil does not exist it is not luck everybody says systems if you do not understand the systems of God give us Ephesians chapter 4 please Ephesians chapter 4 verse 18 the Bible says having their understanding darkened listen carefully having their understanding darkened then it says being alienated taken apart from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them when the understanding of a man is darkened you can be alienated from the reality of God's life so you will read it in the Bible you will even confess it but your life will be barren of that experience because there is a system are we together on earth there is a system by which men grow correct from a baby to an adult there is a system there is a system with which a woman is able to take child and give birth there is even a time range for it so it is in the realm of the spirit the ignorance of believers not just in knowing what we want we all know what we want but the keys of the kingdom the 
designed by the wisdom of God to deliver that result. So what we do in the body of Christ largely is guesswork. We apply at random several scriptural principles that we hope will address our issues of concern. And the danger is if and when they do address that issue, we cannot reproduce it because we do not know which one exactly produced the result. So we call the blood of Jesus. We invoke the name of Jesus. We call the word. We sow seeds. We take communion. And then we do all kinds of things. We pray and then we get the result. Now the danger is we cannot teach another person. There is an exact system that is responsible for what you and I are looking for tonight hmm. are we together you heard the testimonies of some of our loved ones here look at this kind of results there is something responsible the bible says they are life to those who find them and then health to their flesh it didn't say they are life to christians no no that understanding that because it is in the Bible your life should experience it is deception and fallacy between thus saith the Lord and it came to pass is your participation engaging the systems of God accordingly that's what is responsible for the delivery of the outcomes in our lives I've said it here again Satan is never afraid of the word read your Bible there is no place in scripture that records that Satan is afraid of the word. Satan is afraid of your understanding. Your partnership with the word is the dread of Satan. In fact, the Bible says, speaking about the sower and the soils, it says that Satan cometh immediately and takes the word and the word does not react on him because the word in itself is barren and unprofitable it takes the faith and the understanding of the believers to give life to the word to now be able to speak the word of god is a bank of potentials activated through faith and your faith is the summation of your understanding proven by your steps first your understanding then your steps your understanding is evidence of your conviction are we together now I've spent my life studying the systems of the kingdom and I still do. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 15. Please help us. Let's rush tonight. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 15. It says the labor of the foolish wearied how many? It didn't say where is one from the group. Every one of them. Why? Because he knoweth not how to go to the city. It didn't say there is no road he knoweth not 60 verse 1 of isaiah says arise shine amplified says arise from the frustration and the prostration that situations and circumstances have kept you he says rise to a new light arise shine why for your light is come not that your light is available it's always been there but the day it comes to you it has capacity to cause you to arise please hear me believers God is not a charmer he's not a magician there is always an engaging of the systems of God fear is a product of ignorance or inaccurate understanding of the systems of God the antidote to fear is not just casting the spirit away there is the spirit of fear but there is there are activities that results to fear naturally an understanding of the systems of God so this is what we desire but do we know do you know for instance believers that in the economy of God with men there is a way that men can receive bad things that leave them we call it restoration we all know and we all agree that restoration is a possibility in God's dealings with man but do you understand the system there is an exact spiritual system that produces that outcome are we together now yes there is a system scattered in scripture that distinguishes men and lifts them up listen let me tell you something the word of God is only profitable when we understand our roles 
in making the outcome happen the word of God is only profitable when we understand our roles the summation of what the Bible calls faith is first understanding this is where the challenge is our understanding being faulty being incomplete being unfruitful so it is incapable of delivering the results that we expect and therein lies the power of darkness leveraging on our inaccurate understanding of the systems of God and then we mock God there are people who have come with several situations tonight and within seconds we've not been away for over a week I mean it's, it's been a tour right from the west down to the south and here and it's been an amazing time watching all the miracles and the things that have happened you know I have wondered wondered just like those who receive I have wondered at how easy it is to get God's hand having the readiness to judge all disobedience if and only when our obedience is complete ignorance truly empowers Satan in fact there is a class of the demonic cadre called rulers of darkness their dominion is activated whenever there is no light we must contend for accurate understanding there is no one in school to sponsor me I am alone so you say but there is a provision in the dealings of God with men where he can raise strangers he said it strangers will feed your flock keep the promise but find out the system that commits God to making it an epistle in your life here and now otherwise we will continue to mock ourselves again and again God said it but we may never see it in our lives someone listening to me here inside outside across the nations of the earth will need to realize that this is the key it's not God it is our lack of participation to produce the outcomes that we desire say amen this is the second reason why many people remain perpetually in failure and defeat let me give us something Isaiah 31 it's a scripture that blessed me so much and I think it will bless you verse 1 to 3 those who depend on the strength of men the strategies of men listen to what the Bible says war to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many it says and in horsemen because they are very strong but they look not to the Holy One of Israel neither seek their God let's go to verse 3 verse 3 please it says now these Egyptians that you claim are so formidable they are men no? are we together now it says and not God and their horses are flesh there is a limit to which they can defend you it says and not spirit when the Lord shall stretch out his hands listen both he that helpeth shall fall and he that is helped now this is an ancient language shall also fall down two of them shall do what if God does not help you and your destiny helper together so it is never from men I've taught you this all every good and perfect gift comes from above through men to you from God through men to you so your prayer is not to men the God of all flesh that can manipulate things according to his will from God through men to you when it becomes from men that begins the cycle of tragedy from your life anything God cannot give me let no man claim he can give me I know we say yes sir but we don't believe it it shows on our our desperation calling the attention of men you are my last hope Sam if you don't pick my call I'm dead that's a man who does not know God because he said if you will not praise me it is still within my power to raise up things that should not do that God is only limited by how much we trust him his wisdom is multifaceted 
has the capacity to invent new formulas of communicating your breakthrough to you your assignment is to trust him enough who is like him lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down every ocean rolls to the lord of lords never never allow your appetite or your perception of the ability of men and human strategies to help you to outrun and push away the fact that you know God is faithful. I know you're a businessman and I've read every business book, but by and large, it's only a channel. Every good and perfect gift comes from above. I know you went to school, but let me tell you something. If God does not speak a word on your behalf, your certificate can be a piece of paper on this earth. As sad as the recession is, it has brought so many arrogant people to their knees. Men who think God is limited by their perceptions and whatever it is. No. God is mighty. He's not scratching his head in heaven wondering what to do with believers. His wisdom is so infinite it reinvents itself to manipulate answers to men regardless of the circumstances. You are God alone from before time began. You are on your throne. You are God alone. And right now, time's The next time a man tells you I will not help you you are in trouble thank him don't cry go back to God and say Lord how many men did you say are on earth six billion let your wisdom your infinite wisdom that can raise up stones stones that can raise up stones to praise and glorify him I will never trust the strategy of men above God I love and know and fear him too much to be that foolish that a man comes and says look Ejimi tomorrow I'm going to change your life just because you have five billion in your account that's a joke is it not until that man wakes up from the bed in the morning listen I'm, I'm not I'm not teaching you dishonor. Remember, I've taught you the gift of men. I'm showing you the depravity, the falsehood, the waste of time that is committed in making men God. This God is a mighty God. Your trust in him puts pressure on his integrity. Pressure on his integrity. That's what brought some of you here from so far. You have put pressure on his integrity. I assure you he will not disappoint you. Hallelujah. All through scripture, the Bible is full of God's promises. And then attached to them are conditions that men must satisfy as a proof of their faith in God. God cannot assume you trust him. So he creates a condition so that you're activating that condition is proof of your partnership that I agree with you. It would be costly for me to take this water and then tell Pastor Ejimi, I want to force you to take. No, 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 no. I can't assume he's thirsty. Are we together? So I say, Ejimi, if you are thirsty, I have given you access to this. You're picking the water is proof that one, you are thirsty, but number two, that you believe I'm not a liar. Now, if you want to come and pick this water and the protocol stops you it, you have you have obeyed you have put pressure on my own integrity and so i come in and i tell him no i instructed him he's acting based on his trust in me he's not acting based on rebellion the problem is never the devil the problem is our fear alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them 
Number three, quickly. The third reason why people experience failure, defeat perpetually is demonic oppressions. Demonic oppressions. First John chapter 5 verse 19. Demonic oppressions. We live in a world that is full of demonic activities. And the Bible did not leave us in the dark as to the reality that there are forces of darkness that attempt to contend with the liberty of the saints. It says, and we know that we are of God. Read on. And how many? Not Nigeria. The whole world does what? Lieth in wickedness. Like you say, my child is lying on a carpet. The whole world lies on a mystery of wickedness. The condition to be a potential victim of this is that you are born of a woman. The moment you arrive here, that's all. Are we together now? You know, several people say, who did I offend that all this trouble is in? All those things are, they are just cultural ways of trying to manage pain. The whole world lieth in wickedness. The moment Jesus was born as a baby, all of a sudden, when a star came at the east, Herod, the spirit of the Antichrist, began to walk in Herod and they wanted to kill Jesus. Even in heaven there was war. He said there was war in heaven. A woman, I saw a mystery in heaven. A woman was about to give birth to a child and a dragon came and stood waiting to eat the child. And the Bible says the earth fought for the woman and took the woman to a safe place. Hear me brothers and sisters. The Bible says forever, O Lord, thy word is settled. It tells you the location in. It takes faith and the operation of God's word for it to be settled in your life. It is settled in heaven. Hence the dexterity and the order in heaven. But on earth there are still forces contending with the purposes of God. And the Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 6, please give it to us. Verse 12. Ephesians 6 and then verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Listen, I want you to listen to my message against spiritual intelligence. That message has bled so many people. I was talking with my mother, Jimmy, today and uh, my mother almost made me cry. And she said she was listening to spiritual intelligence so much and making several decisions in her life based on that. Spiritual intelligence will teach you not to waste your time. Being angry with men, fighting men, because every man, every man is just, is a physical form being manipulated by a reality from the realm of the spirit. You have to know this. It is never about your in-law. It is never about your son. It is never about your daughter. No, no. Wasting time on men will make you hate people you cannot love. There is a revelation that sponsors love. So even if people speak against you, you know that they are not speaking of their own. Peter tried to rebuke Jesus that you will not die on the cross. He said, Satan, get thee behind me. And he said, Peter, Satan desired. Peter said, which Satan? We came here together. Satan desired to sift you like wheat. But I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen your brethren because he will look for them too. Are we together? He says, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against the spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. Paul himself was not he did not leave the church in limbo as to the reality that at every point in your life there are forces that will attempt to mock god here's a revelation god gave me recently every sickness every oppression is like a letter satan is writing to god he uses men like the canvas and says I am making a mockery of men to prove that your word is not true. Are we together now? So when I trust God and I still come and I'm sick and the sickness is eating me, it's not about you. Satan does not even care. He is trying to use men, the highest of God's creation, to make a statement to the heavens. 
that bowing down you did not do i am now using your image to compel creation to bow down to me and so when god finds a witness men and women who represent the systems of god who represent portals that manifest the multifaceted possibilities of god in the earth they now begin to rewrite in the lives of men watch this so this lady come darling this lady has cancer it's eating her up that's a letter from satan it is never about the cancer satan does not care he's he's contented with the statement and the reaction of creation to him by reason of this are we together so when she comes for a miracle service like this god begins to rejoice not because he just became powerful finally an intercourse between need and supply listen every time hear me every time god heals a man it was not that night he planned to heal the man he had been navigating the need and the faith of that man to the grace the unction level it takes to produce that miracle and when two of them collide there must be a miracle i've taught you something listen oh let me not go ahead of myself i'm enjoying myself here very seriously listen this lady cancer now i've prayed for her and she's not healed that's a double message you see that that message now her faith begins to fail her because she's saying but but i mean does that mean my situation is different and she goes to god lord i love you i love you but then she begins to think and somebody comes to say look there's one man somewhere oh, i'm advising you all this your jesus thing me too i'm a christian i gave my life to christ before you were born i'm only telling you this what is there to all? just go and carry one goat i can even give you half of the money you see it is a statement satan uses men their situations is like the pen he writes a letter to heaven watch the ones you claim you died for barren of your faithfulness yet you study from scripture I have been young and now I am old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken, not you see bed for bread. Then Satan comes to write a letter. That's why God is searching for men. He's not searching for men to give them titles. He's finding space in the earth through men. So that the multifaceted dimensions of his possibilities can be made manifest. Now, if this lady supernaturally gets healed, like the gentleman, look at the guy that, 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 um, that came back to life 25 people immediately 25 people because a dead body came back to life you can't deny that are we together that's a statement brothers and sisters tonight my father will write another statement yes he will yes he will see God does not just write anyhow. He writes in a way that he must force you to read it. His miracles are notable. Ask Moses. He made the bush to burn in such a way Moses could not ignore it. That's the same way somebody will walk out of this meeting and all of a sudden doors opening, 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 opening. Hallelujah. That's the God we serve. So when miracles are not just a proof that a man is anointed, that's the last reason for a miracle. Miracles are a message. It's a reply from God back to men and to the gates of hell. I am still faithful. The lion, the lamb, my benevolence is still in force. I am still good. My mercy endures forever. And he uses men sometimes you see in his wisdom he just allows the devil to exhaust his knowledge then he comes in so cheaply and lifts a man and says satan how about this when you understand this hear me you will passionately pursue the presence and the power of god not for fame you are seeking to give god space there is a statement that god needs to write to principalities and powers they mock god in our life are we together this is what happens because it's difficult brothers and sisters we are humans when your life has a track record of perpetual failure it will test your faith 
and that's when Satan comes and tries to say where is your God you are 39 years as a lady you have loved God all your life no marriage and I'm here believing my life anyhow I'm still married but another man see wants to add another marriage to me look at two of us brothers and sisters they are not speaking on their own it's a letter so it is good to give God thanks in that situation but it's best to give God thanks in victory are we together? Yeah. thank you demonic forces they exist, they are real and they have made nonsense 1 Thessalonians 2.18 please let's hurry up 1 Thessalonians 2.18 The apostle was speaking and he opened us up to something very very profound i want us to read together ready one to read wherefore we would have come to you even i your breakthrough but what happened help me please once and again your breakthrough would have come to you your prayers answered already but satan hindered us satan can attempt to hinder men from meeting men satan can attempt to hinder things from meeting men are we together now it's part of the reasons why we pray we pray because in the place of prayer we create our own climate and we command the forces of darkness we enforce the victory of christ and we clear the air for believers to receive the fullness of the blessings of God. The last reason, very quickly, and then we'll pray. Why do people experience limitations in their lives? They trivialize and ignore the place of spiritual empowerment. This is the last reason. The last reason, I've given you four reasons why people remain in perpetual defeat they trivialize and ignore for many the place of spiritual empowerment Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 we celebrate the anointing of the Holy Spirit in this place not just the ministry of the Spirit as you know we're on a series the Holy Spirit he said finally my brethren haven't told you all these other things finally my brethren be strong in the Lord be strong in the Lord and in the power of his the word might there means his resources his resources the power that comes with his resources there are arsenals there are mysteries there are supplies of graces and possibilities that make God God. And the Bible says we should be strong in that. The power, our access to those things is what gives us strength in this kingdom. Are we together now? There are powers of darkness that will arise and contend with believers. Once and again, Psalm 66 verse 3. Psalm 66, verse 3. Let's read. One to go. Say unto God, How terrible art thou in thy ways. Help me please. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. Brothers and sisters, it takes power to reign in this kingdom. It takes power to reign in this wicked world. It will take power for you to rise and not compromise yet prosper. It takes power. It's more, it takes more than sincerity in a wicked and a depraved world. Are you going to bribe? No, I will stand in for truth. That means there is no promotion for you and you can remain there for decades. Are you from so, so, so state? No, I'm not. No, you are not qualified for this position. Human sentiments. It takes power to defy the wickedness of men takes power. Hallelujah. Takes power. Takes power to build a ministry. 
much more than wisdom it takes the ability of God it says rabbi John 3 verse 1 we know that thou art a man Nicodemus seeing the mighty works of Jesus Christ they criticized him in the day but he smuggled his way to Jesus in the night and said rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from God for no man can do these things except God be with him the anointing of the Holy Spirit is God's authorization upon a man to represent him God's authorization the anointing of the Holy Spirit is God's ability listen the capacity to produce God's result God's dimension of result can only be produced by his dimension of power and grace we trivialize the anointing because we have been taught that the anointing is for men of God and since I'm not being called into the fivefold ministry I do not need the anointing no brothers and sisters hear me the anointing the anointing I've said it again I want it to become a revelation in you that the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference the difference between a man who rises out of death and out of every challenge is the anointing a thriving ministry and a struggling one the anointing a thriving career and a struggling one the anointing the anointing will be the difference between your next level and where you are now don't trivialize it don't say it is unnecessary no the anointing is God's advantage in the life of the believer it truly is an advantage I think it was the last set of school of ministry students I was teaching them when we were doing pneumatology I was teaching them about the anointing and I said this is our wicked world people ask you who is your father it's an iron bender who is your mother she sells a car somewhere in the road no you cannot rise we are victims of the wickedness the sentiments the ethno-religious biases of men in a world where people want you to bring something you need the advantage not an advantage brothers and sisters the anointing can take you where anything can take anybody the anointing others may get there because of their connections others may get there because uncle so 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 went and once you are there they ask you how did you come and then you laugh God's ability God's ability is working in me is working in me is God's ability God's ability is working in me is working in me that will be your testimony is God's ability is God's ability working in me the anointing will always produce supernatural results you've heard me say it if it is the Lord's doing then it must be marvelous in our eyes if it is a man's doing it is natural and logical but brothers and sisters when your result defies the natural progression there is another agency other than you when your results in any area of life listen they called Jesus they said he was casting out devils by Beelzebub he said if I use Beelzebub the prince of demons by whom do your fathers their fathers were casting out devils they fraternized with the realm of the spirit access powers higher than a human power and were producing results that statement shows that no man can do supernatural things without the assistance of a dimension higher than that which you know yes In this day and age brothers and sisters the world is waiting for supernatural outcomes you don't just tell somebody be healed that's arrogance without the anointing now let me show you something I've taught you this again and again but I feel like doing it let me use a thousand naira if you would permit me please look at this because so many people really do not understand the operation of the anointing I want you to learn this please 
by the grace of God and by the privilege of his grace I can tell you I understand the workings of the anointing I want you to pay attention and listen closely I may not boast of any other thing but I can tell you I understand how this thing works listen the anointing works like money watch this if I give you a Jimmy 1,000 naira do you know that there are many things this can buy 1,000 naira can buy this but 1,000 naira cannot buy a car are we together now so when if your desire is to buy a car you need multiples of 1,000 it is good that you have 1,000 but it is not sufficient to draw to your life the result this is how the anointing is don't say I'm anointed it must be to the level that is capable I thought this thing is energy physics defines power as work done per unit time that's the definition of the anointing God's ability that is dissipated per unit time to produce supernatural results that's the anointing listen if I try to lift this it doesn't mean I don't have energy it means the energy dissipated per unit time is small so I need another agency to assist me is that true believers this is how it is so it is not that the name of Jesus is there is not working it is not that the anointing is not working the situation that you are confronted with this is why grace and peace is multiplied because there are situations that defy that current level so he says grace and peace be multiplied to you why is it multiplied how God anointed Jesus Acts 10 30 look at the extent to which he anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power let me show you how to be a blessing when you contend with the spirit to carry a dimension of grace and unction sufficient to solve most if not all the problems that you will find this is how you'll be a blessing if Dan Gote comes here now and decides to give everybody one one million how do you, how many of you know that's not a prayer point for him because it is within his capacity are we together if koinonia decides to give everybody here one one million we'll have a problem somewhere correct not because we don't have money it is the limit of our capacity so it's not when when this guy has a problem it's like a shop there is a dimension of anointing required to solve it so when you come to help him it's not just that you laid hands he may even fall down but the money is short what do you need more 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 of the same thing not more of a different thing more of what the same thing so Benny Hinn can climb the stage and he's not even held the mic and 40 people rise out of the wheelchair you see that the anointing upon his life makes him see clearer the might and the possibilities of God when you are not heavily anointed you create a wrong picture of God because you struggle for little results and it looks like that's how much God tried to release that result but watch another man who comes with grace and unction and you watch ease as a testimony it's called capacity the anointing makes God look limitless in the affairs of men this is why regardless of the results here and there that God produces we still remain in the secret place because there is no brothers and sisters there are people scattered here tonight if I ask everybody to come and hold the mic people will not travel from end to end there are people following from over 45 nations of the world they are not sitting down and wasting their time no no people want solutions now a man of God gets up here called Joshua Selman I would be a wicked man if I have not stayed with God sufficient enough at least at the level of the growth to be able to partner with the Holy Spirit that's why we cry for his mercy because there are many situations that we need results beyond our current levels of dealings with God and we need the mercy of God to superimpose the current level of grace that we carry that's why sometimes I tell you that God does not heal people just through a man's faith he switches to the covenant that that man has with him and it becomes a platform upon which he reaches men are we together tonight let me tell you 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that there is grace to cause your mountains to look like valleys yes yes it doesn't take time it only takes time when an insufficient dimension of the anointing presents it learn this about the anointing the anointing can greatly misrepresent God it's like a television that is not well tuned it will make you think the producers were that poor until you take the same video to a clearer HD television and that's when you watch the artistry of those people the anointing can misrepresent the capacity of God hallelujah I take time to teach like this because the miracles and all this will not take time once your heart is aligned to receive then you will receive miracles upon miracles are we together this is how he gets glory when he finds men who are heavily anointed please hear me never be caught up by the results you currently have now no matter how great I tell you you ask the Lord my work with God is as if I don't have an iota of his anointing in my life there is a standard and there is a capacity that I'm working with God and I seek to get I have seen them in dreams and visions and I did not see this current level we are trusting God for levels where before koinonia starts before the first prayer point half of the people who come sick are already healed completely one woman one of our mothers i met a new mother new wonderful mother in portacourt lovely people those of you from portacourt i know they are listening to me now they are following me lovely lovely woman i love you with all my heart and um, the whole family i mean they are just into this ministry with their heart she donated her car and everything for them to use for the program and she shared a testimony i think it was yesterday that touched me she had been having some kind of respiratory problems and so when they picked me from the airport her children insisted that she would sit down at that same place and that woman said she just sat down and the children drove her home brothers and sisters that was the end of it now listen listen when you understand the anointing there is something interesting about it when you understand the anointing and you are heavily anointed the more heavy you are anointed the will your will plays little role in its release it becomes wherever ask the woman with the issue of blood jesus did not even listen now he was not planning she just touched him and jesus said who touched me the anointing didn't say jesus can i flow so you can be in a restaurant you are eating and all of a sudden now you will never believe what i'm saying if you are casually anointed if you truly are anointed you become a blessing you greet somebody just shake his hand and that day he has more customers than he can ever imagine now even you you do not know till he tells you an effulgence of spiritual possibilities you your life has become a gateway and a portal revealing a dimension of possibility that is not affordable to the natural man I welcome you tonight to this place where God has chosen by his spirit to reveal the multifaceted dimensions of his grace and glory please rise up on your feet Oh, oh, oh. 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 I want you to just pray two prayer points from the depth of your heart. Number one, I'd like you to insist and say, Lord, I release my faith. 
there is no challenge I came here with tonight that will return back. Go ahead and pray. Prophesy, declare it. I wave every captivity goodbye. Jesus is Lord. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Pray. I believe in the mighty God. I have found David my servant and with my holy oil have I anointed him. It's a realm of your glory. It's a realm of your grace. I can see your mighty power moving in this place. We're in the presence of angels with God's glory on the wings. And like the voice of many waters. I can hear the angels sing You are holy You are holy You are holy You are holy Ta-da-da 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 One last prayer point father take me to a new dimension there is always more lift your voice and pray take me to a new dimension take me to a new dimension are you praying take me to a new level let me not need to tell people that I came before your presence let there be an evidence let there be a testimony Nina Ka wo ya bo Sarki salama Nina Ka wo ya bo be the same I want to pray for you listen
I want you to trust God. Please hear me, especially for the visitors here. I want you to trust God that the forces and the yokes that stand between you and your destiny, you have to believe that they will live now. Are we together? I want you to believe God. There are people already receiving their deliverances and miracles. I want to pray for you now. My heart is heavy because in this season and in this time, God wants to set people free. Some of you may not know the causes of the situations, the challenges, the things you go through. You have prayed, you have fasted. God has brought you here tonight and he will give you a dramatic miracle. Are we together now? Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Jesus, the presence of God is Listen, I want to pray for you. I see a writing. I just see a writing in the realm of the spirit. And I see great breakthrough. This is what I see. Great breakthrough. There is a grace that is coming on people now. The Lord is starting off with us tonight. Bringing strange breakthrough to people. I want to pray now. At the count of three. In the name that is above all names. I decree and declare. In the name of the Lord God whose I am. Right now, at the count of three, I release that grace. I command every devil standing on the way to anyone's breakthrough. I command that you leave right now. In the name of Jesus. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. One, two, three. Go now. Go now. Bring them out. Shake it, take a Inside and outside. hallelujah lift your hands my god i still see these breakthroughs i'm seeing doors opening in the realm of the spirit listen i'm seeing at least 17 people 17 people i'm going to pray and the power of god will come upon you strange doors opening right now in the name of jesus i declare by the count of three one two three open now Open now, I command it. I declare it now. Now, open doors by the Spirit of God. Open doors, open doors. Sato Seketa, my God, doors opening over lives, opening over destinies, opening by the Spirit of God. By the Spirit of God.
lift your hands and pray. The Lord is showing me people here with strange delays. You love God but strange delays. I'm seeing like arrows in the spirit. And this is not from darkness. It will come upon you. Once it comes upon you, know that that delay will end. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands. As I stretch my hands right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord, where are they? Men and women who have been delayed, strangely, right now, right now, right now, I command that light and power, that light and power, upon sisters I'm seeing a strange grace for speed just sisters sisters I'm seeing this and the Lord is asking me to prophesy it as soon as I prophesy it, there is a strange unction coming on ladies for strange speed I see this in the realm of the spirit now Lord I place the word of God upon this prophecy and I declare ladies step into speed now supernatural speed I command it, I decree it in the name of Jesus. Strength speed. Strength speed. Strength speed. It's coming on you now. Like the dew of heaven. Coming on you now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes to a vision now. And I'm seeing keys being given to people. Keys. Listen. Keys. It will come on you like fire. I see keys. These keys are solutions and strategies. Solutions and strategies solutions and strategies you will help me shout that name jesus again i see keys being handed over to people according to the grace and mercy of god now lord i pray that even as you have shown me whoever should be a recipient of this spiritual blessing i decree and declare that it will come upon their lives now are you ready at the count of three get ready now my god my god my god one two three asking me to do I've told you 
many of you wonder when you see me do this particular thing where I just mention a state and the Lord begins to touch people from that state it's a sign and wonder you see these things they are operations of the spirit because the Lord is opening my eyes right now I'm seeing a map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the hand of God on south 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 that entire region now now all those who come from that region south 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 a miracle now Ending captivities by the Spirit of the Living God. Holy, 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 holy. Hallelujah. There is somebody in overflow too. You are holding a picture. You are holding photos. Please come. Overflow too by the roadside. Let the person come. Let the person come quickly. You are holding a picture. The Lord is showing me someone. Please let, let that person, whoever he is or she is, please quickly. You are holding a picture. Run. Come. You are wearing like blue. Uh, is it blue or black now? Who is that? Come. Don't worry mama i'm going to pray for you where is your daughter ma no mike i'm looking at you hold on is this her i'm looking at you and the holy spirit is taking me and i'm in kano where is she she's at kano where is she that's what i'm saying she's at kano and the lord why 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 are you holding her picture is she up there up to now she have made that get married uh -uh. and this, this day she's sick this is what i'm saying this is what god wants to destroy because i'm seeing her in kano and you are standing in for her yes i'm supposed to pray for those outside but i saw this and the lord is saying i should minister to you go and tell her that the lord brings her life this sickness is over <laughs> hallelujah sir where are you coming from mina niger state niger state Thank the Lord because your car would have had an accident on the way coming. And the Lord has brought you deliverance. Is this your family? Yes, sir. This is your family. Yes, sir. One, two, three, four. How many children? Four children. Have you stopped giving birth? Do you think this is all? I'm looking in a vision and I'm seeing one more, a baby girl. After this. Hold my hand, sir. But the Lord is going to, I'm seeing you have serious problem with finances very serious you are not a lazy man even you you cannot explain how you got into this kind of trouble but i want to pray for you because the lord is saying i should release you from this hold my hand sir i bring you life in the name of jesus christ you will go back and return with a strange this man's life will change like day and night in the name of jesus christ mama please come i don't know this woman but I'm asked to pray for you. I look at you in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing two hands like this. You're a woman of prayer. This is what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. Look at me, man. You love God sincerely, but many things are going around. They are scattered in your life. And you have been asking, can God come? Can God step in? Even when you were there, you were praying that prayer. I heard you praying and the Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's giving you rest today. He's giving you supernatural rest. Madam, please stand up. Please stand up, ma. Please stand up. Where are you coming from, madam? It's from Sabongeri. You are coming. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, your life will turn around and that of your family. This is by the Spirit of God, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Have I prayed for you, darling? Come. In the name of Jesus, I end captivity from your life by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
right now in the name of Jesus I end captivity don't worry I mustn't speak to you as I lay my hands on you I want to believe there's someone you are outside your baby is sick run with the person and come now you are outside your baby is sick run with the person and come now that is sir can I pray for you sir I'm going to pray for you and the Lord is going to give you peace and the Lord is going to raise people to help you now sincerely speaking I want to be honest with you it is not within my power to stop you from getting married I we generally can only advise because you see let me teach you something especially as a pastor there are people who are following us from 45 nations of the world and when you are ministering sensitive things like this um, they are listening and every territory has laws are we together now things are a bit flexible in Nigeria but if I were in America and I'm talking to this man like this and saying don't marry another wife the son can go and sue me or the ministry so this is the reason why it's not maybe lack of faith are we together sir it is not within my power and I have no right to judge you I can only declare the counsel of God and pray for you um, this is very important when you are speaking to people although by the spirit it is important to be wise in your communication so that you do not say things that will bring you serious problem mama you are praying and you are still telling God there is one more thing you want to tell me I'm hearing your prayers come what is it give her the mic is that true you are standing there and you are praying and you are saying you wish that I can call you again there is one more issue what is the issue Marriage, your daughter's marriage. Uh, ma Mama, let's let's pray. If that is the issue, you are a good woman. I want to pray for your daughters, and God said that's not what you need. Hold it. What you need is destiny. Help us, Mama. As I'm looking at you now, they're about to throw you out of the house because your rent has expired. Give her the mic. Is that true? Yes. Sir. You need somebody to help you. Yes. Sir. Seriously. Yes, if not, the time will come. Even what to eat will become an issue. The Lord said, I should tell you, forget this issue of marriage. Hmm? The major issue is the ministry of destiny helpers. Amen. Lord, send people. Amen. You see, we must pray that God will grant us grace so that we can help our mothers. It's a terrible thing for a woman at this age. To be praying as if she never had a child as if she never trained anybody that's why we cause the spirit of delay that makes people to be established very late now according to scripture a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children but sadly being as the situation is we must be able to turn back and be a blessing to these our loved ones a woman like this at her age should not be going around trying to look for food to eat again I pray that your loved ones will not look for food to eat. That God himself will empower you and establish you and send you help. Mama, don't cry. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Lord will help you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. See me after the service, madam. In Jesus' name. Thank you. I pray for you, sir. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord change your life, change your situation right now. In the name of Jesus. You are the one with the child? Please come. We are going to pray for the sick now very quickly. What's wrong with him? He's running temperature this evening. Just this evening? Yes, sir. But he has been having persistent cough. Cough. Coffee. Let's pray for him. Lord Jesus, I pray for this, your dear son. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I decree and declare that this boy be made whole right now. And for you, his mother, I command that everything the devil wants to put in your stomach, let it leave you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Please, why are they here? Mama, come. Please stand up. The Lord is visiting you. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's taking away reproach and pain. Amen from your life Amen. this is what he's saying please stand up please stand up man that he's rolling away reproach you see as God speaks to one person he's only using one person as a point of contact to speak to everyone it doesn't mean that we have to call you the time will not let that happen are we together now 
For instance, madam, are you from Kaduna? Who is from Kaduna? Uh -uh, uh -uh, not just a person, a woman. There is a mama from Kaduna that I want to speak to now. This is a young lady now. I, I, a, a mama, like elderly woman. There's a woman who came here from Kaduna. Not a young lady, please. I, I want to just speak to that person very quickly. Mommy, look at me. You have gone through so much pain. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, it's your children that will wipe your tears. It's your children that will wipe your tears. May the Lord raise them and may they wipe your tears. I pray for you in Jesus' name. Why is she here? You are the Deeper Life um, lady. You are, you are a member of Deeper Life. Are you sure? Hold my hands. Lord Jesus, I pray that you do a miracle in her life right now. Put your hand on your stomach. God is taking something away from your stomach now. I curse it. Something is leaving you now as I hold your hands. You are even surprised. Even you, you would not have known that there's something here. I'm seeing like a malignant growth. Something that will later develop to a fibroid. I curse it by the God of heaven right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be over now. In Jesus name. Come my brother. You are James. I will pray for all of you. But you love Jesus. You love Jesus. I have to pray for you. Come. What's your name? Your name is James. Do you love Jesus? I prayed for one boy, one miracle service. Very bad friends. And I'm still seeing it again. I don't know where that guy is. And the Lord is asking that we pray for him again. You see, all these gentlemen, you have to be careful. It's important for us to be serious with God so that you don't land yourself in the police station. Hold my hands. I pray for you. The Lord is bringing restoration to your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural restoration, sir. I pray for you. You will not, I don't know what is making, I'm seeing a thermometer up and down your chest. And the Lord is saying I should rebuke anything that has to do with your blood pressure. In Jesus name I command that it leaves you right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray for all of you. Come sir. Let me just make contact with you very quickly. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hasana. Hasana, we are going to pray for the sick now. We have to be very fast. Hasana. Hasana, I'm seeing someone with the name Hasana. Is there someone like that? Please, very quickly. Hasana, whether you are inside, outside. Hasana from Kogi State. Hasana. Are you not Sado's sister? Is your name Hasana? You are sure? Look at me. The Lord is bringing restoration. Restoration. The Lord is saying I should stretch my hands on you. In the name of Jesus. May you be a benefactor of the mercy of God. The mercy of the living God. The mercy of the living God. The mercy of the living God. Come. The mercy. Yes, it's alright if your names are Hasana. The mercy of the living God. Your name too? Your name is Hasana. Come. I'm interested in what I'm seeing. Hold my hands, my dear. The Lord is bringing breakthrough to your family. There is a spirit that oppresses you and it must leave you now. Go! Now! In the name of Jesus, I curse you by the God of heaven. Let her go. Never to return. In the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> She's afraid already. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. The light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. This lady, you see, she's smiling, but there is a serious case. There is a very mad, wild spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. There's a reason why I ask her to hold my hands. This lady has been tormented and oppressed in a way that you cannot imagine. Now I command that spirit. This is koinonia. I curse you by the God of heaven. Be gone now. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You would see a gentle lady like this. And she would not know what is responsible for her life. This doesn't mean she's a devil. It doesn't mean she's possessed. No. 
it's just the advantage that satan takes over the lives of people i command in the name of jesus let me tell you what is wrong with this lady is not a little issue this thing doesn't show on the face so you just see people smiling but they are victims of a lot of things let me pray for you my dear come hold my hands in the name of jesus christ i bring you life now life come the devil wants to bring pain to your life hold my hands i command it to come to an end now pain repeated cycles of tragedies i cause it by the god of heaven an anointing is coming upon you and the lord himself is giving you a supernatural miracle right now there are three ladies i just had the cry of children and there are three ladies you are standing in for your families now as i'm speaking the anointing of the holy spirit is going to come upon them standing in for their families standing in for their families standing in for their families let the oppression in your family end now this girl's family has gone through all kinds of things this is koinonia i bring you the life and power that is in the name of jesus now this is what we're going to do please listen very carefully um you know that we take out time to minister more specifically to people i wish that we had all the time but we have to work with time and um we are going to pray for the sick now please listen whether you are inside or outside if you are trusting god listen please whether you are inside or outside aside from these particular cases if you are trusting god for fruitfulness for your loved one or any other person whether you are inside or outside please don't come in at random i want you to come in i want to minister to you myself aside from that now we're going to pray for the sick overflow one please all of you should walk to the front of your projector you'll be ministered to overflow two and the ones extension of overflow four please walk to the projector stand outside overflow three walk to your projector stand outside very quickly and those inside here i want you to just walk out to me very quickly we're going to minister to people in that order there are so many people it has pleased the lord to make this place a place of supernatural miracles please it, it doesn't matter where you stand if you're outside don't come in just move to your projector outside hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord we're going to minister to you now it'll be very fast whilst we're doing that please your prayer request if you've not written your prayer request or that of your loved ones those online you're yet to write do that quickly so that the ushers can follow and then we'll do that very quickly every other thing from here will now be the prophetic declarations there are so many people inside and outside we are going to pray for the sick the lord has given us the grace he's given us the capacity there are people going through all kinds of things and um, in as much as we teach you how to live in health and wholeness we cannot allow the devil buffet you some of you are standing in for your loved ones some of you are standing here with incurable diseases hiv you've heard the testimonies there is nothing that has not been healed in this house sir the lord is going to heal you you will not die that virus will not kill you you hear what i'm saying i don't mean to embarrass you i hope you are not embarrassed because i look at you if i don't pray for you i'm seeing very soon this thing will eat you up i don't have to say more than that but you know what i'm talking about there is no virus there is no situation that has not been healed in this place and you know we don't announce miracles if they are not medically verified so that it doesn't look like people are just faking things so believe the lord especially if you are here for the first time it doesn't matter who ministers to you i just want you to believe there is a corporate grace that is at work here to minister and bring miracles to people we'll be very fast please those outside you'll be very fast uh pastor jimmy let's see um you handle overflow one outside um pastor alpha overflow two um pastor femi let's see pastor femi and promise go to overflow three mike you walk with a jimmy outside there and then um, have i told you where to go to okay so 
would go in that order I'm sure that I may just walk alone here there are a number of people who are not here we give those opportunities because it's also an opportunity to train and build people please quickly let's go father we agree that the corporate grace you have released upon this house and this family for miracles let it be released regardless of who ministers we minister in the name of Jesus we bring that name that is above all names over every situation let your anointing speak this is the moment oh God where you cure the incurable this is the moment where you step into the lives of people let it be a quick walk let everyone here return with testimonies in Jesus name I'm going to begin to minister to you but there's one person here the anointing of the Spirit will come upon you so strongly that will be the signal of the grace to minister here right now this is uh, don't don't mind me I do all my crazy things um, let's just walk by the Spirit someone here in front the anointing of the Spirit will come on you in such a mighty way the moment that happens then I begin to pray for the sick now thank you Jesus for your mighty power that's the person down there so I can pray for you now bless you father thank you all right guys let's give God the very best please you can sit down you can sit down while you are sitting let's be praying because as soon as I'm done praying for the sick we'll address other issues very quickly so that we can finish on time the Lord bless you in Jesus name Please help them, whether you are an Osha or not. New levels. There are people God is fishing out here. New dimensions. Shebros kaparu shabradi salatush. Shebros katabrandega dego shalabradi asha. Engreto susabrikatia. It's a call to your spirit man. It's a call to your spirit man. This is not for everybody. It's a call to your spirit man. If it's your call, you will hear it. 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 You must hear it. If it's your call, you will hear it. Your spirit will pick the signals of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The spirit of prophecy is upon that man. Who can stand against the Lord? No one. No one. Who can stand against our King? No one. No one. No one. It's not a ritual it's not a ritual no but listen brothers and sisters 
we bring this prayer request before the God of heaven representing the pain of people representing the mockery of darkness and you've seen all sorts of miracles that has come from here and we're going to pray now the Lord is asking me to take off my shoes we're going to pray right now please I want you to participate I take time to explain this so that we all understand um, I may not be able to minister to everybody one by one but this is a representation of the cry and the request of people the other people are ministering to those outside don't worry those outside if they are still ministering to you just hang on those who um, have been ministered to already please just follow your screen can we stretch our hands in one minute and I'd like you to just pray in the spirit pray in the spirit to the God of heaven who answers prayers Jesus Jesus the son of the living God Jibrakato salabranda gadabash Mali brando zibragadash Now arise, O Lord Come to your resting place Brood upon these requests Let there be mighty, mighty, mighty miracles Mighty miracles Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that every request here represented tonight is turned into a testimony it's turned into a testimony in the name of Jesus the Son of the living God every request here no matter how impossible is turned into strange and speak these testimonies in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that for every request you have written here and all the ones online I release my faith and in the name of Jesus I declare let this be the last time you will submit this request the last time you will submit this request let this be the last time you will submit this request unto him that answers prayers the one who has beckoned on us to approach his throne without fear to approach with boldness and confidence we decree and declare in the name of jesus most high the son of the living god every request here i say again is turned into a testimony in the name of jesus turned into a testimony by the power of the Holy Spirit turned into a testimony by the power of the Holy Spirit turned into a testimony hallelujah this is the last phase of the meeting I want to pray and prophesy upon your life it will never tire me to say this in my opinion the greatest part of this service is what is about to happen now because Believers are used to charismatism, falling down, rolling, and so on and so forth. We many times downplay 
the place of prophecy prophecy is very powerful and i've taught us that there are two dimensions to the operation of the prophetic there is the revelatory dimension of the prophetic that god allows by his spirit to bring comfort to bring access to light and information that works hand in hand with the gift of the word of knowledge but the greater and more superior dimension of the prophetic is the creative dimension of prophecy where the word of god makes realities that have no business happening to happen the word creates a scene and adds it to the pages of your life so that something you had no business walking in you will all of a sudden find yourself walking in it and remember i told us the last discussion before we began to pray that one of the greatest reasons why people are limited is because of inadequate dimension of the anointing so alongside this prayer i'm going to be praying a prayer of impartation there are people th this thing is not just for showmanship listen if you know god and you love him and you see the needs of people you will covet the unction and the grace of god this has nothing to do with showmanship when people begin to make showmanship out of it, it's, it's inaccurately used. Hallelujah. Let's correct things now. Let's recreate things now. Please lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Oh, come, oh, come, me, man, and run some captivities. Why, yeah. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captivity, Israel. Rejoice, rejoice for Emmanuel has come to us his israel in the name that is above all names i decree and declare right now every door that has been closed over anyone here in the name of jesus the son of the living god i command that door be open now Open now. Be open now. Be open now. The Bible says, Have you heard of this saying that a city gives birth in one day? But it says, As soon as Zion travails, it says, She shall give birth to son. I decree and declare, whatever you have been incubating for a long time revealed to you by the spirit but yet to manifest there is grace for performance and i command that you must have a manifestation now i decree it i declare it by the power of the holy ghost manifested blessings manifested miracles hallelujah i decree and declare where you have to struggle for everything labor for everything I open you up to a dimension of prepared blessings I open you up to a dimension of prepared blessings in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know who has despised the grace of God upon your life he said and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren i prophesy to you may an unction come upon your life tonight that will distinguish you i decree it i declare it. may an unction come upon your life tonight that distinguishes you in the name of jesus christ the bible says elijah told ahab saddle your ass and run for i hear the sound of the abundance of rain and Ahab was already light years ahead of Elijah but the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and all of a sudden he started running on barefoot listen the Bible says that the disciples were six hours ahead of Jesus moving on their boat 
and Jesus got up and started walking on water there are many of you there are several things that have limited your pace I want to prophesy speed for you there is a grace that makes men to pursue to overtake to recover I speak to you in the name of Jesus as I pray for you the anointing of God will come on some of you and you will want to run physically please hold them I release that grace that grace for speed receive that grace now no delay I command speed speed of accomplishment speed of accomplishment in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah Isaiah 6 it says arise shine for your light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you it says for darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people it says but upon you the glory of the Lord shall arise verse 3 says Gentiles you won't look for them again Gentiles shall come to your light and even their arrogant kings to the brightness of your rising it says where you have been deserted so that no man passes through you I will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations I decree and declare from today every gift you have every dream every ability that is dormant and not being blessed and rewarded I command Gentiles to come to your light now. I command Gentiles to come to your light, to come to your business, to come to your profession, to come to your ministry. I make it so by the Spirit of the Living God. hallelujah and David said is there any man of the house of Saul that I may show him kindness and they went to bring a crippled man called Mephibosheth and when he came he sat down with David and he says you will continue to dine with me here in the name of Jesus where your strength cannot take you Satos Kapratikata where your current level of achievement cannot take you I decree and declare may the hand of God that picks a man from a dunghill to a place of prominence may that hand pick you to the next level of your life may that hand pick you to the next level of your life hallelujah it says and I will restore to you the years alas master for it was borrowed they borrowed an axe head and it fell double trouble and he said no don't worry where fell it I want to speak to people here who have lost things you have lost relationships you have lost money you have lost opportunities there is a system in the kingdom where they can call back things he said they are taking for a prey and none say yet restore in the name of Jesus by the name of he who can manipulate time and make yesterday become tomorrow and tomorrow become yesterday I command a restoration now I command a restoration now I command Hear me anyone here called jobless you are looking for a job or any of your loved ones in the parable that Jesus gave he saw some people sitting idle he said why sitest thou idle he said no man employ us and he said go to the vineyard when he speaks there is always a job in the name of Jesus I create a space for you now in the name of the Lord Jesus I create a space for you now I speak anyone here or anyone standing for any family that has had delay especially in the area of fruitfulness he said be fruitful the first command he gave man right now in the name of Jesus hear me Mary said how shall these things be seeing that I know not a man he didn't say Joseph will come he said the power of the highest 
shall overshadow you. Therefore, I prophesy everything that represents unfruitfulness, it dies now in the name of Jesus. It dies now in the name of Jesus. I speak to everyone, God worried. Carry your children now. Carry your children now. Every aspect of your life that represents barrenness, be it in the works of your hands, be it in your finances, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I command supernatural results. Supernatural results. Supernatural results. I pray for those who wrote jam and didn't like their results. I change the result now. I change the result now. I change the results now. Hallelujah. Every family here that has refused to move forward, I don't care for what reason, in the name that is above all names, your accomplishment for the next one month will dwarf what you have done in the last five years. In the name of Jesus, believe it, help them please. Believe it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This is one of my favorite blessings to people. The ministry of destiny help us. I discovered, brothers and sisters, hear me, that it always flows from God through men. Everything money can buy, relationships can buy it. There are needless battles, needless battles that relationships can solve. The distance between you and the next testimony may just be a relationship. But you see, no destiny helper comes by his by himself they are called they are called they never come by themselves they do not even know he says the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon in the name of jesus whoever must speak for you in high places in this season whoever must endorse the testimony of god upon your life as a man of god as a businessman whoever must advocate for you where your voice cannot reach I prophesy to the north, I prophesy to the south, I prophesy to the east and west, wherever your destiny helpers are, I command them to come into your life now. Hallelujah. Listen, I know a woman years ago when we held our crusade in 2009 in Abuja, it was her camp that we used she's not even educated but she had access to two people a very wealthy family that needed a miracle and she prayed for them and they became destiny helpers let me tell you something the easiest way to be wealthy is through relationships somebody can get up by the spirit and make you a partaker of his blessings are we together now we've discussed on finances and all the principles but brothers and sisters there is a dimension of speed that god can give a man and this is to help you be established fast so that you can focus on the purposes of the kingdom there is this spirit that makes people to be established so late it's not that they are lazy you cannot be established over hundred thousand per month believe me you cannot be established over fifty thousand per month you are too generous to even keep that money and whilst you give god will orchestrate men but we have learned that satan can hinder them and pray specifically for finances i want to invoke the mystery of divine supply there is such a reality like supernatural provision this ministry is a, is a tearsome testimony of what happens when men covenant with themselves to make sure you rise he said men came to david in the cave of adulam entered a covenant with themselves that they must make him king you don't need plenty of people you just need one person anointed and directed wherever your financial helper is in the name that is above all names i declare that between now and the next two weeks of june may they appear in your life may they appear in your life appear in your life mm -hmm. 
Hallelujah. Every dying business here, every dying career, every dying ministry that is as though you are not called, I give life to that which is dying now. I give life to that which is dying now. Hallelujah. Father, it is my prayer from my heart for your people that by miracle service June, you will return here 10 times better. Literally, 10 times better. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I want to release something. There are people here you love God. I gave you an example of this anointing. There needs to be an upgrade. You see, the thing with the anointing is, if it is there, it is there. If it is not there, it is not there. It's as simple as that. The anointing is a very obvious quality of God. It's not something you struggle to see. There are many of us, especially pastors, who are trusting God for certain dimensions of grace. It can manifest as anything. Wisdom, strategies, supernatural grace, the grace for performance. I want to pray for you. Activations are very necessary to drive people into great results. I stretch my hands right now. In the name of Jesus, every dimension of the anointing that is available in this house, every dimension from prophetic dimensions, Shabo Sikata, there are people receiving it now. There are others is being activated. Others is being multiplied. In the name of Jesus, I open you up now. Strange levels of the prophetic. Strange levels. The eyes that see and the ears that hear. The impulses of the spirit. I pray right now. The manifestation of the spirit of revelation. Receive it right now. Revelation inside, inside, inside. Take it now. Take it now. Revelation, revelation into the mysteries of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Every operation of the gift of the spirit that is barren in your life and needed for your destiny. I stretch my hands and I activate it now. Receive it right now. I activate it now. I activate it now. I activate it now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I release upon you right now fresh mantle for leadership. Supernatural dimension of the leadership grace. Let it come upon you. You may be weak, but it will distinguish you in the name of Jesus Christ. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. It is he that giveth thee power. Brothers and sisters, there is such a thing called the power, the anointing, the unction, the capacity to create an atmosphere around you that attracts wealth. I don't know how many people it will please the Lord to release this grace, but I stretch my hands. Let it please the God of heaven to bring men into this dimension. Right now, receive it now. The power to prosper. The power to prosper. You may be weak, but the power to prosper. Bring in favor. The ministry of men into your life. Hallelujah. I don't know what has brought your prayer life down. But right now in the name of Jesus, fresh fire upon your altar. Fresh fire upon your altar. Capacity to pray in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Whoever fights you goes down instantly. I say it again. Whoever fights you, whether in the secret or the open, goes down instantly. It says, you shall call on Aaron and his sons. He said, and you shall take your honor and give him. Honor is a mantle. It's transferable. Let me tell you, this thing called honor is not about accomplishment. There is a grace that makes people distinguished. I pray for you from today. That grace for honor 
I release it upon your life. May you be honored at the gates of your destiny. May you be strangely honored at the gates of your destiny. Whoever has said over his dead body for you to move forward, tonight may their prayers be answered. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points and we're done. I pray for your family. We believe in family in this place. No matter how lifted you are, if your family is not lifted, he said, as for me and my house, we believe in family. We pray for our children, whether in the womb or born. We pray. I prophesy over every family here that the devil is trying to corrupt the testimony of God's faithfulness. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, supernatural lifting for every family. 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 And finally, I pray for you. In a way you have never seen, whoever looks at your face, I compel them to favor you. Listen, the Bible says, Esther found favor on everyone that looked at her. For as long as you made contact with Esther and you looked at her face, you were compelled by an anointing. Believe me, I have seen this thing work in my life. I prophesy to you, men who have no business blessing you as they look at you, I compel it from their spirit. May they bless and favor you. May they bless and favor you. May they bless and favor you. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. We're rounding up, but the Lord is giving me a word here. The Lord is speaking to a family here and he's saying I should tell you it will be like a dream when in three weeks it will change your life. It will be like a dream. 21 days in three weeks he will change your life. Whoever this is for I release it to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is also speaking to one person. You are going to start a business next month on the 5th and I'm seeing before 31st, it has made you a millionaire. In the name of Jesus. I'm not motivating you. I'm speaking as the Spirit is giving me unction. You don't believe it, you will never see it. Never, ever see it. Every difficulty you came here with, in the name of Jesus, you leave it down here and walk back free. In the name of Jesus. Quickly, in one minute, everyone still standing. I want to make two altar calls now, very quickly. The first, please keep standing, everybody. No moving around, inside, outside, please. There are people here, men and women, who you have seen the things that the Lord has done by His Spirit. Please, let's keep standing to honor them. And whilst you watch the power of God move, the Holy Spirit began to convict you that you need to belong to this family of faith, the family of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are saying, man of God, if you will pray for me, I'm ready to completely surrender my heart to Jesus. I don't care how many times you have come out in response to an altar call. The second category of people who will join them are those who at one time you have made commitments for the Lord Jesus Christ, but you have found yourself derailing in many ways and you're saying, man of God, if you will lead me, I will run. I will run. Run to Jesus now these two categories of people i know there are people outside overflow one two three wherever you are please our time is gone i want you to run like there's fire on the mountain i'm going to count five wherever you are leave your seat and run now please clear the way for them one quickly quickly let's honor them as they come quickly run to jesus now please quickly inside outside young and old quickly quickly i have decided to follow Jesus, no turning back. Run to Jesus, no turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus, no turning back, no turning back. Help me, Washington. I have decided. 
please keep coming don't sit back there now look at me brothers and sisters i appreciate you for this great decision you have made the bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away when you come to him he has the power to make you you have no ability to change yourself but you have the willingness to hand over your life i want to pray for you listen i don't want you to just recite this as a poem i want you to mean it from the depth of your heart standing before jesus the firstborn among we the begotten and his holy church i want you to make this confession from the depth of your heart lift your right hand as a symbol of surrender and say after me lord jesus say it again lord jesus i believe in you that you died for me you shed your blood for me you rose again for me tonight i willingly receive your life into my spirit i declare with my mouth the lord jesus and i confess with my heart that god raised him from the dead i declare right now that eternal life is mine i receive it into my spirit i'm free from the power of sin the flesh and satan from today i move forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus keep your hands lifted i pray for you spirit of the living god you represent the presence of jesus now in the name of jesus christ i'm praying in a very supernatural way spirit of the living god by the power of the holy spirit let these ones never be the same again in the name of jesus christ may they never be the same again i pray by the power of the holy spirit that their lives will be objects of praise in the name of jesus i declare your sins forgiven i declare a new life for you i break away from you every influence of darkness capable of jeopardizing the quality of god's life in you i release you to be victorious i make you victorious by the power that is in the name of jesus hallelujah praise the lord thank you for this great decision now i want you to follow the lady waving her hands they would um lead you outside have a few details and then um, just communicate a few things to you please cooperate with them the lord hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching